This Sunday, you guys watch the low and death chopping it up. And right now, we are just waiting for our next guest and low Q also. He want to take a little break while I welcome you guys back to 151. We'll bring you light painting and hoking laughing at me. And oh yeah, live art, local issues. Straight from Ball Heights since 2015. We are heading into, does that make this a third year? Huh. Yeah, I think it does. Three years production. We've come a long way. We have our uh, the production team growing as we go. We also, we also, if you have any ideas, email us, DM us on the gram. We also take any feedback, positive or negative. We go through our DMs as much as possible. You can send it to myself on the Escolax Hour Instagram or Marco TV in collaboration with the Escolax Hour. But yeah, I want to thank uh, Des for stopping by and. She, her and Nacho, they're gonna work on the mural. As soon as I open the door, let them in. They might not have the paint, but. And yes, as you guys can watch, one of our guests, she's gonna come on right now and. <laughs> and uh, my head's cut off, I'm too tall right now. Anyways, you guys are watching me. Low is back. You want to take your seat, Low? I don't want to take your mic. That's your mic, though. The other mic, too, man. Hey, hey. Just I got kicked off. <laughs> He's playing. Alrighty. Who's next? Sorry? Joy and Co? Cool. Anyway. <clears throat> So we're back on the Esquilax Hour, episode 151, and our next guest, Joy and Co., will be joining us. Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Oh, I'm great. I'm just chilling here. Thank you for having me. Oh, of course. I appreciate it. Pleasure's on mine. So, uh, uh, Jesus, I forgot. My bad. So, what is it? What's going on here, like, in this box? So, um, I brought cupcakes today. The most popular ones I have uh, are Tres Leches and Cajeta. Oh, Jesus. So, my company is basically um, cupcakes, but um, it has a Mexican and American flavors to it. So, um, I've seen cupcakes that are only American or cupcakes that are only Mexican, but... Um, you know, my family has both, and we, we celebrate both cultures, and so that's what I'm trying to do with my cupcakes. So we have like Boston cream pie or, you know, cajeta. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how did this idea come about? Uh, I've always liked baking, and my mom's always encouraged me. My family's always been supportive. 
and um, I'm in my senior year in Cal State LA. So. Oh really? So, yeah. So nice. I wanted Congrats. to get to it. And um. Thank you. So. How long ago uh, did this start? This is um, you know, amazing company. Thank you. Um, so it started last year, yes. um, not so long ago. Um, my beginning year of senior, senior year at Casa de LA. And um, did you decide this like uh, like this is permanent? Like you want to uh, make these certain flavors? Are you still looking for other types of like uh, culture flavors? Yeah. So we're always open to trying new things, new flavors. We're just starting out, and these seem to be the most popular, so I'm focusing a lot on these. Plus, I have a full-time job right now, and I'm at school, so it's a little difficult. But um, yeah, we're always open to trying new flavors. And is it like a physical shop, or are you guys selling from home? So right now, we're based um, at home, but um, that's our goal. We're trying to get a shop. That's tight. That's really yeah. dope. Um, and do you guys usually vendor st and stuff like that? Or? Yeah, so right now you can find us at the East Los Art Walk every second Sunday of, um, of the month. And also at uh, Cumbiaton, which is also here in Boyle Heights. Where at? Cumbiaton. Where's that at? Like so it's at a billiards on um, First Street. You can oh, find all the in I know info where. on my page, yeah. For sure. Yeah, so um, one thing about my company is that I'm really proud to come from East LA. You know, um, we don't really have cupcakes here, mm. and especially not cultured cupcakes. So um, I try to make most of my events here at home. Damn, that's nice. <laughs> Thank and you. have you had any uh, past events you've been at? That um, went well? So we've done a couple, uh, one wedding, a couple uh, birthday parties. But, oh, uh, so it's not just events then, like, um, like you know, street events. It's like no, so yeah, so oh. we, we take orders. Nice. And what's the biggest order you've ever gotten? Um, so in, in April, we have an event of um, 400 people to ex uh, are expected to be there. So That's we're looking forward to that. As, you nervous about it? Um, I'm excited about it. That's good. That's really good. Thank you. Now, can we take a look at your cupcakes? Sure. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Just a second. What's your best-selling cupcake? Cajeta. Why? Uh, I'm not sure. I, people love it. I mean, it's one of my family's favorite, too. I think because um, cajeta's not seen so much, except, you know, like in the more um, Latinx bakeries, and like uh, Viva Los Cupcakes has cajeta. Um, so, but mine is different than theirs. I don't know if maybe that's why it's more popular. Mm. And um, so, you know, to our audience that doesn't know, what's cajeta? So cajeta is like a Mexican caramel. Um, I just learned that in some parts of Latin America, it's called uh, dulce de leche. Mm. So I know Portos has a delicious dulce de leche cake. I didn't know it was cajeta, though. Really? So it's basically, yeah, Damn. it's the same thing. And can you describe the, like, the taste and, like, so, the um, feeling you get from that certain <laughs> cupcake? So it's a vanilla cupcake or a yellow cake because it's made with brown sugar. Um, and it has a cajeta filling. So it's nice and thick and sweet. And uh, the buttercream frosting is just vanilla buttercream frosting drizzled with um, cajeta on top. So you know you have like a soft cupcake with like a thick filling, rich, you know? <laughs> Sounds bomb. Oh, no. Thank you, yeah. And um, what other flavors do you have? So we have um, Abuelita, vegan chocolate. Um, you have vegan chocolate? Yeah. So oh. um, the first art walk I did, people were asking for vegan. So I decided to try a vegan chocolate. And it was very popular at the East Los art walk. I didn't know we had so many vegans here in East Los. Yeah. Um, we're trying for a, diab a sugar-free cupcake. So How's I made one before. Out? Thank you. Oh, how is that working now? Oh, so um, it's good. 
um, my grandma really likes it. She's diabetic. Mm. And uh, so, so far, I've only made it for her, but we're looking forward to bringing more to the East Coast Art Walk next month. And, um, and uh, the other flavors, are they um, made with natural ingredients, or are they, um, like, uh, do you use certain, like, products or, like, uh, other brands for your cupcakes? Um... Pretty much is it made from scratch, you know? Like oh, yes. Everything is made from scratch. Yeah? We take a lot of pride in that, yeah. Damn. Yeah. So um, I always try to get, like, fresh ingredients, you know, because I go to the supermarkets and I see their cupcakes and I don't know. <laughs> and um, how, how many does uh, one batch make? Um, what do you mean? Like, uh, what's your ordinary batch, like, that you usually make for, uh, I guess, either for an order or, like, if you make it for an event, how many do you usually make? Um, for like the East Los. So last time I made six dozen um, and I sold out. So I'm hoping to make more. <laughs> That's fast. Um, and usually does it take like long or, you know, is it like a, is it like a strenuous uh, task? Um, it's very time consuming. You have to have a lot of passion for it, a lot of time, a lot of patience. Um, there is definitely, I would say, science behind it because you have to add the right amount of ingredients in each batch. Um, you know, some things don't work for for certain batches, and other, like for baking powder, I yeah. would say. Um, it works for some batches, and for other batches, I would have to use like baking soda. So it's a science, and it takes a lot of time. That's dope. And what's your fondest memory with, cupcake, with your cupcakes, at least? Um, with my cupcakes, it would be um, being around my family. My family is very supportive. They've always been there for me. Um, so I mentioned that I was going to school and going to work right now. So when I prepare for events, or even like today, um, I stay up almost all night making them. And uh, my tia, you know, my mom, my grandma, they stay up with me and they help me make yeah. the cupcakes. And have you? Ever had a bad time making your cupcakes where it was just like a bad batch? Yeah, all the time. Oh. So, um, <laughs> um, you know, sometimes I try to rush things or sometimes I just forget something because I'm so into the moment and I have to toss that batch out. Oh. Yeah, I always make sure that it's a good batch that I'm going to give out, you know? And like, um, is there a certain standard that your cupcake has to have like, or look in order for it to be good for you? Yes, um, so I've learned that I'm extremely critical on my cupcakes. So usually what I do is um, I give it out to my family mm. and I give a cupcake per, you know, like my cousins and my aunt and stuff. And um, I have to get everyone's approval. Ah, yeah. I feel you. <laughs> so you like chop it up and like give them pieces of it? Well, I actually give them a cupcake. A whole cupcake? Yeah. But what if that cupcake is better than the other cupcake? Uh, so you can slice pieces of that <laughs> first cupcake? And then right. everybody try out that certain cupcake. You feel me? I guess. Yeah, I get what you're saying. And um, how, how do you um, you have any slogans for your, uh, your your cupcake brand? Not yet. Not yet. We're still brainstorming. Have you found a corny one yet? No. <laughs> yet? No. But I do want to have. I do want to incorporate something in Spanish. You know, because um, I wanna I wanna reflect both cultures that my family carries. And how do you feel? You, would you be able to? Uh, reach that goal? I think... What do you want to touch up on, pretty much? What do you... Like, if you had to do it into a video, say like that, how would you portray it, I guess? What, what are ideas that you have right now for that? Um, family and really my neighborhood, you know, East LA, where I grew up. Um, I don't think that's reflected a lot in, in the media. Or, you know, just genuine, like the Mexican culture, you know? Um, and then we hear East LA is being gentrified. And I just really want to portray the authenticity. And there's so much culture and history behind East Los that I'm really proud of. So I, I would like to portray my family in my neighborhood. What's uh, one person or a group or organization or just anything inspiration on that pushes you to do this? Uh, I would say my family. Your family? Yeah. Um, I grew up with a single mom, and it was just my mom, my brother, and I. Um, 
and you know the rest of my family. So um, they've really like pushed me to do my own thing. Um, and I'd really like to grow this company with my mom and my brother. That would be the dream. Where are you from? Um, like, like my ethnicity like, or uh, neighborhood? Neighborhood. Neighborhood, um, East LA. So I was born in West LA and I lived a couple years um, in South Central and I moved to East LA maybe when I was 11 or 12. And I've been here ever since. And what's your ethnicity then? Um, so my grandparents are from Durango and my mom nice. and I are from here. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, so you're second generation then? Yes. Nice. And um, what about your pops? Uh, so he is not in the picture. Um, you know, my mom and my mom has been my mom and dad since I was maybe five. And, um, you know, he left the picture when I was 14. Um, and so I'm just really blessed to have my mom. That's good. At least yeah. you have one parent that fits both roles, you know? Yeah. And um, has that experience uh, made you very uh, fortified? Like, I guess, mentally, spiritually, and, you know, physically? I think so. It's made me very independent. And um, I think if it were to be, you know, my father in the picture, I don't think I would come as far as I would have, just because um, I've always strived for more. And because it's just my mom, I've seen her struggle. And um, I don't want to struggle the same way. So I've tried really hard in school. And I'm trying to grow this, you know, um, for her and for me and for my brother. So where do you see this business going? I hope to open up my shop on Cesar Chavez. Why and that street specifically? Um, so my mom lives near that street. And because it's, um, it's a main street that has been very prominent in my, in my life. I mean, East LA is not that big when you think about it. And Cesar Chavez ha holds a lot of memories for me. I mean, my school, my high school's there. Um, you know, there's so many restaurants there, um, so many places I've hung out. And um, I feel like it catches the ens essence of East LA, and that's why I would want my shop there. Yeah. That's cool. That's good. That's good. I appreciate that. Um, so you, you, you feel the need to show love back to, you know, where you came from. Feel yeah. Me? And like all that, um, I feel like that's going to impact a lot of people. You no, know? it'd be cool. Uh, like um, I was thinking about a certain idea you could put for your cupcakes, you know, you could come with little, uh, little notes, you know, saying so, uh, some of the stuff that has happened here, or, you know, so, uh, an inspirational uh, figure, a picture of them on like, Kind of like with the toothpicks and like yeah, like with Ruben Salazar. Yeah, throwing yeah. You know, a little bit of history in there, and you know, and they'll start reading like, oh shit, like I didn't expect you this. You know what? I I really love that that idea. Thank you. Um, I will see how I can incorporate that. But I think that's an amazing idea to educate. You know, like the youth and yeah. um, just our people of our history. Go for it. Take it. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, which one is your favorite uh, cupcake? My favorite is Tres Leches. So a funny story is um, I've never liked Tres Leches. But Why? people were, because it's so soggy and I don't like the texture, but people were requesting it. And my tia Maria was like, um, you should make it, you should make it. So I tried it. And of course, I always have to try my cupcakes. I tried it and I loved it. So you love how you make it? I think so. <laughs> and um, it was surprising because I'm extremely critical, but um, I loved it. Would you like to try one? trying to stay off the sweets, but yeah, I'm there. <laughs> so you could try cajeta or tres leches. Which is this one? That's tres leches. Right. I'm, yeah, and the other one's cajeta. All right, I'm going to try this one. OK. Anyone? Yeah, I hope you like it. For sure. You mind if uh, the rest of the crew tries one? No, I would love for everyone to try one. You guys want to come up and grab one? Other guest? Just a second. Me. They're my favorite. <laughs> so what do you think? You like it? 
Do you think it's too soggy or too uh, dry? Or yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty dope. What about the sweetness? Do you think it's too sweet? Yeah, like, I'm actually like a fan of sweet, so like, this is good. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Um, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, there's a caramel one, there's a tres leches one. So these are cajeta. Take your time, and these bro, are eat leches. it. Uh, the ones with the strawberry. Yeah. Hey, yo, can you want to grab one? There's caramel and there's tres leches. <laughs> hey, hey, tell her what you think, guy. Let her know. I'm always open to um, feedback and um, constructive criticism, so. <laughs> I need napkins now. <laughs> oh my god. You oh like yeah. it? That frosting? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. You know what? Let me see what's marked. This goes good with a coffee. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Coffee. You don't need hey, more hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Café. Bring them camera on. Coffee from Zapotec. <laughs> I'm what glad y'all like it. Yes. Bato? <laughs> so we have um, cajeta and tres leches. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Let me know what you think. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm back already. I was just like choking on the cupcake. <laughs> but that's really good. Thank you. What are you using them? Um, so basic ingredients, flour, sugar, milk, eggs, uh, butter, um, you know, just that kind of stuff. The um, the tres leches is um, whipping cream, uh, lechera, and um, oh, you make it? Yeah, I make everything from scratch. What? Yeah, I take a lot of pride in that, except the cajeta. Do you use a lot of fruits? Um, for the like any of them? Just the tres leches for now. I I'm I'm planning to incorporate fruit in the sugar-free uh, cupcakes. You should really do blueberry ones. Blueberry ones? Yes. Okay, I could try it. Bomb. She see she agrees. Huh, right? <laughs> okay, next time. Uh. <laughs> Yo, have you put orange slices though? Orange peel. Get the orange peel. The zest? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, for sure. Thank you for your ideas. But yeah, man, like and um any anything that um you want to add from your experience uh, making this? Um, like your journey with with your with your brand, how has it been? Like, it's been it's been difficult, but I would say it's very rewarding. I'm very proud of what I have so far, um, and I just I would like to share my story. You know, I'm not the first, and I'm not the last, and I'm not the only um, child to come from a single parent household, um, and yet I've been going to school, I've been working, and now I'm growing this. You know, so really anyone can do it. And I'm really proud of that. Um, I'm also very proud of being a Chicana. And I'd really like to incorporate that into my cupcakes, not just um, the Mexican culture, but also the American culture. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> <clears throat> and are you planning on um, making any new flavors and stuff like that? Oh, of course. Like what? Um, I'm still exploring, experimenting. I'm open to, to suggestions, you know. But um, yeah, for sure. You should. I, I think you should make like a chocolate mousse one. Oh, that sounds good. Huh, yeah, right? that does. But like natural chocolate, though, that dark one. Okay. Yeah, for bomb. sure. But, um, open to that. Of course. Um, have you had any um, people come up to you and say they want to collaborate with your brand? Like, I've had a couple people, um, you know, from the East LA Art Walk. 
um, nothing's concrete yet, you know, we're still starting off, but yeah, I've had people come up to me. How do you feel about that? Collaborating with, uh, you know, cupcakes into anything else that revolves around their art, you know? I would love that. I think it's a way to expand and to meet new people, you know, and um, to experience new things, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I had a question. Sorry. It's okay. <clears throat> now, do you look forward to um, seeing how it blossoms, actually? My, my business? Yes, yes mm. I am. I am a little nervous, honestly, but I am very excited. What makes you excited about it? Um, to start a new business with my family, to, um, to portray my culture the way I see it, the way my family sees it, uh, the way we grew up, you know. Um, we grew up around these flavors, so I really want people to experience that with us. And um, do you have any messages for people starting off with, like, you know, small businesses like this? Um, like, it doesn't have to be food, you know? Yeah. But, like, um, pretty much anything like this. I would say it's really hard, um, especially when you don't have, like, the financial support or um, when you don't have people backing you up. But I would say it's definitely worth it. Um, the time and the money you put into it, everything is worth it. And um, I think if you really have the passion for it, um, you, you'll see how it rewards you. And um, what's one struggle that really led up to this, like, that kind of like brought this out from you? I would say, um, you know, financially, my family hasn't always been uh, the richest, but um, the cupcakes have definitely helped me and my family, um, you know, get through some hard times. And has um, this been an outlet for you? Like, kind of like, a, you know, painting and, like, music and stuff. Has this been an outlet for, for oh, yeah, yourself? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, before I even started selling cupcakes, um, I would bake, really, to relax. I know it can be stressful and it takes patience, but um, it really puts me in a zone. Where okay, I can you, you're everything. putting all your energy into it, right? Right. Yeah. So even even if that energy is bad, you know, once it's already baked, because you're expecting it to come out good, right? Yes. So that yes. energy is just like cooking up pretty much. You feel and me? yeah, and the best part is that um, I can eat it afterwards. I see it as an art that I can eat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is an art you can eat. Yeah. Have you thought about like, because um, <clears throat> I really want to see this. You should put food coloring in your whipped cream. Mm-hmm. And like. Just make it like all trippy and like colorful and stuff like that. Yeah, so I, I want to do like a galaxy one. I want to see if I can do that. Um, but I am open to doing different colors. I would like to do more natural colors, though, because, um, I don't know, to me... How, how would we match that, like, natural colors into, like, whip, I guess whipped cream or, like, the actual um, cupcake? Well, I think, like, maybe, like, an electric green wouldn't be... What does that look like? Maybe like this. I'm kind of blind, that's why, so I'm like, oh, color blind. Okay. But I know this so is green. It, yeah, know, oh, it's, it's like a, a green bright, screen. bright green. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So like like a barely ripening uh, lime. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, sure. I feel you. Mm -hmm. And um, well, we're out of time at the moment, but I would like to thank you for coming out. Thank you for having me Of here. course. It. No, it was a fun experience. I, I got to learn a little bit about cupcakes. You know, a little Thank bit about you. culture. Thank you. And um, any shout outs, any, you know, uh, handles you want to throw out there for the audience? Um, it would be great if uh, y'all followed me on Instagram or my Facebook page, uh, at Joy and Co. Cupcakes. Um, and I want to give a shout out to my family who's really been there and supportive. Um, I love y'all. Um, the community has also been super supportive. Um, they tell me they believe in my dream all the time, and I just want to thank my community for that. I believe in you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, any uh, web stores you got? Any um, future events you'll be at? So uh, for now, we're going to be at the Islos uh, Art Walk, um, Cumbiaton, and um, I'm working on a website. Oh. So that's... What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, it was really nice having you. Thank you Thank for coming you. out. Thank you for having me. Joy and Co. Yes, Joy and Co. Joy and Co. What's your real name? Jackie. Jackie. Yeah. Make sure to follow Jackie at her handle, which, which is? Uh, at Joy and Co. Cupcakes.
We'll see you after these messages. Thank you. Thank you.
branches just pop right out at you. There he comes. These little son of a guns hiding your brush, and you just have to push him out. This is your world, your creation.
want to use this mic real quick? Yeah. Short. Does it sound like the same? This is loud, actually. Oh. That's cool. Let's do this one. All right. Good afternoon, madam. Hello. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Welcome back to the Esquilax Hour, episode 151. I'm your host, Low Q. And the, the, the name of this group is? Oh, we actually don't have a name. Oh, what? <laughs> we just kind of started collaborating. Um, we're still looking for a name. Um, we, we are starting a band. And my name is uh, Ruby, but my stage name is Foxy. And this is Happy Minor. So he's my guitar player for today. And uh, when did this come about, this uh, group? Uh, this barely started like like last month, I believe. Yeah. Like recently. <laughs> yeah, we really thought about it. Oh, we were like, oh, we should so bad. good together. Thank you. <laughs> That's good. You guys got some energy, right? Yeah, we met a year so. ago in the train station. Hey, can you get him a mic too? Yeah. Just for now. But, um, and when did you start singing actually? Um, damn, that's a good question. Uh, I think fifth grade, sixth grade. I, well, I got my first guitar in like the sixth grade. Um, nobody taught me. I just, I don't kind of caught on <laughs> and started uh, teaching myself. That's really cool. Yeah. I also know how to play guitar as well. I, uh. I don't know, I just prefer to have a guitar player on the side. It just seems pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> you know? your lyrics, throw yeah. motion into it. That's yeah. dope. And what about you, man? How long have you been playing guitar? Well, um, I've been playing guitar like five years ago by now. Uh, I started playing in Guatemala. And Woo-hoo. now I'm moving on over here, you know? Keep doing it. Where are you guys from? Um, I'm from LA. My parents, my dad's from Guatemala, my mom from Mexico. And it's pretty cool to, you know, keep this artistic thing going on. Yeah, what about you, man? Uh, well, I'm from Guatemala City. I'm actually from a place called San Jose Villanueva, my mm. home. And yes. For sure. Cool, cool. That's dope. And um, what made you guys uh, spark, pretty much? Um, what do you mean, like, what made us come yeah. together? Yeah. Like, okay. What, what was the energy around that? So, well, this, always, this is going to go back to, like, when we first met. Um, where was I going? I was going to my job. I was running late. <laughs> and he was playing guitar at the train station. And um, I don't know. I just, I, just, I just stopped to talk to him. You know, I'm like, I, I, that's what I do I, when I see somebody playing guitar. I just talk to them because you never know what could happen, you know? So I asked him, oh, what can you play? And he started playing. And then I showed him what I could do. And then they're like, we kind of exchanged numbers. And we started talking ever since. So. Yeah, I mean, we kind of been. It's it's. I've known him for like a year already. Was the experience like very uh, enlightening for you guys? Yeah, I mean, we both sing. He he plays guitar. He plays drums. He most of the stuff I I I can play. He plays. So it's like. It just clicked. You just know, cover just, each other, huh? Yeah, that's dope. And uh, what would cool. you call your style of uh, music? Um. I, to be straight up with you, I don't have a style because I, I go from like different genres like I go from like R&B to like soft rock to like what? I'm also a rapper so I go from like what? you know hip hop can we and collab? It's just, yeah no totally let's do it um, can I get a sample of your R&B uh, vocals right now? Um, that's cool yeah so you want to <laughs> you guys the secret river what happened can i call you guys a secret river the secret river yeah that sounds i like it i dig it all right the secret river the secret river okay cool i actually don't have a name for this song yet here it goes
it's not my fault you hit it so don't you go ahead and blame me love just made you deceive me you know i was afraid but you did it anyway well you choose what you choose you can chase what you want you can have it all in your hands how can i forget and then decide me free now. Why can't life be easy? Cause I've tried now. I've made amends. Even though I I did no wrong. Spread my wings and Set me free. Ah, my bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. Do that part again, okay? Spread my wings and set me free. Cause the waves are drowning me and you don't know. And the more I try to scream, the more I try to swim, the lower I go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate the love. I love that. I love that song. Huh? Can you guys sing it to me like later again? Yeah. <laughs> I love that song though. Like, how long did it take you to get you guys to write that? Like, yesterday. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I told them uh, it was like a last minute thing. So I was like, hey, can you learn these chords? And he learned them. And I'm just like, oh, I'll. Because I already had it written. So I just told him to learn it. And he catches on pretty quick, which is cool. Hey. <laughs> you know? How do you feel about that, actually? Having a guitarist that catches up to your speed pace? Well, it feels great, honestly. I've always wanted to be like in a band. I've always wanted a band. So we're working on getting a drummer, a bassist, um, even though we do it all. <laughs> like, pretty much. You know? But. It feels great. It's, it's it's a really good feeling to, you know, have people that have the same, you know. What do you feel when you're uh, singing and playing guitar with your friend here? I feel free. Um, I went through a lot of stuff yeah. growing up. You know, being gay is not easy. You know, especially a couple of years back, it wasn't so easy coming out of the closet. Sure. You know, <laughs> it wasn't so easy. Um, yeah, so all the stuff I write about, you know, it's about like relationships, stuff I went through, you know, when I was younger or what I go through till this day, you know. But that's pretty much it, yeah. Thank you for that. Cool. What about you, sir? What is the question again? Uh, how do you feel when you uh, play your music? Well, your uh, it's a mixture of feelings, you know. Most of the time when I play, uh, like Foxy said, I, I feel free but also it's a way of expressing yourself mm -hmm. to let out what do you like what do you love and what do we love is uh given to the people like a kind of message spreading love and good music spread love guys yes yeah, uh, yeah. now are you guys from around here like uh the area uh from south central south central yeah would you guys be willing to come out on uh sunday yeah oh for sure. uh having a, an event called self-love Oh, cool. No? And it's by Creatism, run by her right there. Nice. And, um, yeah, pretty much, you guys, you know, you guys are about that, so you guys should come out. Like perform? perform? A little bit. Yeah, of course. course. Let's do it. Yeah. Yes, tons I'm of down. Down. Tons down. of people walking around, and it would be really good exposure, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. But you should really share it. Yeah, you know? I, I've actually done more hip-hop than I've done with actually singing. So I'm actually trying to focus more on the singing now because, you know, I, my biggest show that I had was at the Will Turn, 
we had about like a thousand people up in there. It was, it was pretty How big. How many? Like a thousand or two thousand? That's a lot. <laughs> big? That's a lot I don't of know. But um, yeah, we performed. Well, I performed at the World Turn. I was in a hip hop duo. You know, we're promoting Black and Brown unity through hip hop, and that's like. Really what was that great. experience like? Um, being in a duo, or both. The, both. the duo and the event. Um, well, I mean, <laughs> I was, I don't know how to explain it, but I was crying on stage while I was rapping. Oh, man. I was really happy because that was like my biggest performance ever. Um, and, you know, just being able to share what you feel, you know, of like what's going on in our, you know, within our community and, you know, with the government and all this stuff. I, I try not to get into politics so much because no, I know like it's, 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 it's risky, but I, I kind of still do. Nah, as long as you but get yeah. the information out there, that's all that matters, right? Yeah. Fuck the government. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> but what other styles do you have that uh, um, that you really want to show right now? You said uh, you have R and B, you have hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I do like. I also do poetry. You want to do a little bit of poetry? I do poetry. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's kind. Of, I don't know. I don't even know whether to call it poetry or whether to call it rap. It's. Just, you I know, I feel I the same decide. way sometimes. It's just like it's the same thing. This is poetry, but this is also hip hop. Yeah. But then poetry falls into hip hop, and that's how it started. Yeah, I know. Mm. It's just so <laughs> do like two poems mm -hmm. for now, and come back again. Hey, can we cuss? Yes. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll do a poem. We'll be right back. So this one's about like my struggles, you know, and me questioning. It's actually like a conversation with God. You know, I'm not I'm not that religious, but sometimes I, I kind of have these conversations in my head with God, you know. So this is it. God, why do you put me through this? If you act like you're my savior, where's my guardian angel? Just save this pain for later. Let me live for once. You know I can't handle these emotions. Why do you have me bottled up if you know that I can't handle them? Everything I've been through from being pushed around and beaten, for being gay, I was mistreated and left on sidewalks bleeding.